Hey, how you doing? Doris here. So yeah, by the title you can already tell that I got some issues with my Alienware laptop. Thermal issues. I faced the same problem as many other Alienware users. Whenever I used my laptop for an extended period of time, it was building up a lot of heat and many times it was quite uncomfortable for my hands to use the keyboard. Almost every laptop disassembly starts on the bottom of the laptop. This one has got six plus one screw on the bottom. That plus one is in the middle that is not meant to come out. After I remove the cover you can see that I highlighted the screws that needs to be removed and as you can see there are quite a few. You should disconnect the battery before you continue with the disassembly. Just make sure you don't rush anything, especially if you are doing it for the first time. There are some really fragile components here. There are some hidden screws as well. On the back of the laptop there are two screws that we need to remove and then we can remove this cover which reveals three more screws. We have to remove every component we can, such as the hard drive, the M.2 drive, the RAM and Wi-Fi card, so we can actually remove the plastic cover. With the Wi-Fi card, you need to be a little bit more careful. There are two antenna cables that are really finicky and you will have to remove them in order to remove the card itself. I am unplugging the LED side light here as well. These are the screws that needs to be removed so we can take the heatsink off. But as I found out, these silver ones that I removed first are actually not necessary to remove. It will give you some more room to clean the coolers, but you don't need to remove them to take the heatsink off. When you are trying to remove the heatsink, you should try to unscrew the screws crosswise so you remove the tension evenly. And now it's time to clean the processors and the heatsink. Now, every other YouTuber would recommend to use a Q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol. I'm just using the Q-tip here and giving myself time to clean it properly. After that, I'm applying the fresh thermal paste with the spread first method, just to make sure that all the surface of the processors are covered. When we put the heatsink back, we need to make sure that we don't lift it up again and again. It's really a one-way trip. 
we don't want additional bubbles to appear between the processor and the heatsink, causing additional heat. Now it's just a matter of time until we put all the screws and components back together. Remember the crosswise method so you are not forcing too much pressure on anything. Now my temperatures has decreased into acceptable levels, before I used to get between 85 and 95 degrees but now it went down around 70 to 78 maximum celsius. So I'm really happy with the outcome. I hope this will help some of you guys as well, a simple skill can make all the difference. Anyway let me know if you have any questions regarding to this laptop in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you are a fan. Thank you ever so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.